So I'm Francisco Leiva, I'm a device specialist at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and a professor of cardiology at Aston University. So in the talk, I, I really concentrate about the, uh, on the uh, incidence of sudden cardiac death in patients with uh, heart failure and uh, the role of device therapy in patients with uh, heart failure. Uh, the recent uh, Danish study was in which um, uh, concentrated on patients with uh, non-ischemic cardiomyopathy has shown that there is no benefit from adding uh, defibrillator uh, therapy uh, in uh, patients with uh, uh, with heart failure and non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. Now that uh, has led to quite a lot of questions really because the current indications are there, uh, both in terms of UK guidelines, NICE guidelines and European guidelines. Um, but it's important really to appreciate that the Danish uh, trial may have been underpowered to uh, answer that question. Uh, it dealt with uh, just over 1,100 patients, and we know that uh, in a meta-analysis we, we needed uh, about 1,400 patients in order to demonstrate a, a beneficial um, role of uh, ICDs in patients with non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. There are other aspects, of course, that uh, in non-ischemic cardiomyopathies can be very varied, um, can be valvular, can be hypertensive, can have scar or no scar, and they have different rates of sudden cardiac death. So one is non-ischemic cardiomyopathy may be very different to another. Um, so I, um, I have gone through some various data sets in order to show that and I think that further studies will be needed because it's very likely that the guideline groups will take notice of uh, the, the excellent Danish study but it's not the definitive answer as far as ICDs uh, go. I also review some of the evidence for remote monitoring in heart failure. Uh, these are monitors within cardiac devices um, defibrillators and CRT devices and uh, largely they've not shown to be of benefit um, in terms of uh, hard endpoints, mortality and morbidity. However, I, I, I think that they are of definite benefit to patients. Uh, I do wonder whether the hard endpoints are really the right way to measure the effect um, because effectively a remote monitor is a diagnostic adjunct and it's always very difficult to, uh, to demonstrate a mortality benefit from a diagnostic um, tool. Um, and I also uh, touch upon uh, some of the um, uh, studies on uh, device therapy uh, using uh, quadripolar leads, which are now a standard of care in most centers, and they've really been shown to be of uh, benefit to patients and to virtually eliminate uh, the need to bring patients back for repositioning left ventricular leads.